がここに指揮官をしその指示に従う Hello, my name is Meteorite. I am an AI whose voice is based on Meteorite's JP voice. Today, I will be narrating this guide and hopefully you guys would like it. Without further ado, Fartooth is a six star operator that specializes in attacking enemies from far distances. She falls into the Deadeye Sniper archetype. Her first talent concentration provides 15 to 18% attack increase when no damage is taken within the last 10 seconds. Her second talent, Stilled Breath, reduces own taunt level and allows attacks to ignore the target's physical evasion whenever the equipped skill is active. Her first skill, Swift Strike, greatly increases attack and attack speed for 35 seconds. Her second skill, Ally Support, massively increases attack speed for up to 35 seconds. Additionally, Fartooth can attack enemies outside of her attack range that are blocked by allies. Her third skill, Feathershine Arrows, massively increases attack and changes Fartooth's attack range into an infinite straight line. Additionally, attacking enemies outside the default 1x5 range increases her damage further. Before moving on to the skill breakdown, I will be skipping Swift Strike due to its straightforward nature. Your best skill option if you want Fartooth to have global attack range and be able to attack certain priority targets. The skill is pretty simple. You activate it, and Fartooth can now attack enemies outside of her default range as long as the target is being blocked by an ally. Usually best paired with a defensive fast redeploy operator like Gravel equipped with S2 or Phantom equipped with S1. Although almost anything works as long as they don't die immediately to the target that is being blocked. Deadeye snipers are popular for prioritizing enemy mages due to their low defense. With Fartooth S2, you can now kill an enemy mage before it even starts hitting your operators. But S2 combined with Fartooth's second talent means that she can also assassinate troublesome enemies with physical evasion, even if the enemy doesn't go to her lane. The enemies simply have to be blocked outside her default attack range. One notable enemy is the Nethersea Predator from the Stultifera Novice event, which brags an 80% evasion rate, yet only has 50 defense, as if it is literally asking to get prioritized by Fartooth's archetype trait. But before you M3, let's talk about its DPS. S2 can reach 1417 up to 1628 burst DPS. As a single target skill on a physical damage operator, this burst DPS is nothing special. In fact, it is on the low end. A reference we can use is Golden Glow's S3. It has 2042 burst DPS and deals arts damage in a global range. Even if the majority of the enemies in Ark Knights have a default 20 arts resistance, Golden Glow's second talent allows herself and her drones to ignore 15 arts resistance. In comparison to Fartooth, Fartooth's S2 damage per hit ranges from 1795 up to 2064, meaning enemy defense can certainly push its DPS down further. To summarize, if you are simply looking for a DPS skill with a global range, just opt for Golden Glow's S3. However, if you want more control over the target prioritization and also be able to ignore enemy evasion, then you can find that niche with Fartooth's S2. Fartooth's bread and butter. Your best skill option if you want to burst down an enemy from an extremely far range. The skill is simple. You activate it, 
and Fartooth will be able to attack enemies in her front with an infinite range. Bragging a maximum damage per hit of 6126, the only time you would need a defense debuff for this skill is when you want to prevent Fartooth from getting distracted as much as possible by manipulating her target prioritization through Deadeye's trait. After all, her trait allows her to prioritize attacking enemies with the lowest defense in her attack range. Fartooth's S3, combined with her second talent, made her a popular choice to burst down bosses that utilizes an evasion buff such as Andoane from the Guide Ahead event and Manfred, one of the antagonists of Chapter 10. And I dreamed of being braver, but I just lied up in the face of danger. Now that you're my guardian angel, with a golden halo, you're my guardian angel. With a golden halo, you're my, you're my guardian angel. When we're far behind enemy lines, and I feel shivers. Despite the extreme amount of DPH, the skill only has a peak 2418 burst DPS. This is due to the long attack interval of Deadeye snipers. For reference, Schwartz's S3, which is typically the best skill to compare with Fartooth's S3 due to its 1x5 tile range and extremely high DPH, has a peak 2933 burst DPS. And speaking of heavy shooter snipers, there's now Pazemka, which is technically a stronger Schwartz. Both can utilize the ARC-Y module, which allows them to ignore evasion buffs as long as the target is in their front. Schwartz and Pazemka kinda took over Fartooth's role due to the ARC-Y module's introduction. It can be argued that Fartooth's S3 still has that infinite range niche, but if you analyze the stages where Andoane and Manfred spawns, it's not like Schwartz or Pazemka are unusable. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Doing a quick check on stages where Andoane and Manfred spawns the stages are quite generous when it comes to high ground tiles and their positions. Why am I bringing this up? It is something to consider before investing on Fartooth. However, if you are not exactly min-maxing, Fartooth's S3 definitely does the job as shown on her quick showcase. In general, due to Deadeye's extremely high base attack, you'd prefer using a percent attack increase rather than flat attack increase. For example, Bard Scardi's S3 has the highest flat attack increase currently in the game, yet if converted into percentage, it can only provide up to 40% attack increase to Fartooth. In this case, you are much better off using Warfarin's S2. As mentioned earlier on Fartooth's S2, it synergizes well with fast redeploy operators. However, even vanguards that are ready to be deployed again can function well to block enemies. Since S2 only utilizes a massive attack speed increase, this means that it is highly synergistic with attack buffs. Fartooth's S3 lacks an attack speed increase, but Fartooth will easily die from axe-friendly fire with his S3. It already has a massive attack increase, meaning any extra attack increase source will just cause diminished returns. Therefore, the best way to boost Fartooth's S3 damage is with higher tier weakening effects. Examples are Suzurin S3 and Gnosis S3. This is followed by Warfarin's S2, which still provides up to times 135 boost. And finally, Salich's S3, which is a times 1.3 boost. As mentioned earlier, unless you are trying to manipulate the target prioritization of a Deadeye operator, they don't synergize well with defense reduction debuffs, as Deadeye snipers would typically brag high damage per hit. Let me teach you a lesson. Overall, Fartooth is a great operator that serves multiple niches. She can be used as a global ranged attacker, or used to assassinate high threat enemies from an extremely far range, especially against enemies that have a high evasion rate. Should you try to pull or build Fartooth if you get the chance? I'd say no if you already own Schwartz or Pazemka. 
And I'd be more against it if you already have a well-built Golden Glove. Both Schwartz and Pazemka are much more useful in more game contents. As mentioned earlier, if you are strictly looking for a global range DPS, Golden Glow would typically perform better without troublesome mechanics. But again, if you think you need that better target prioritization on S2 for a global range skill, then nothing can replicate Fartooth in this niche, especially if your target priority brags high physical evasion. The combination of high burst DPS and infinite frontal range is still unique to Fartooth, which might become a key for certain future strategies. Who knows? There might be a future stage where Fartooth can be the better pick over Schwartz and Pazemka. With these things put into consideration, it might be worth investing in Fartooth. And that's it for now. Like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content.